sometimes i don't understand how things work in the smartphone industry i just can't get my head around them one plus phones have traditionally been the fastest android phones at least in the past 2 to 3 years yet one plus was caught cheating in the same domain for manipulating the device to get high benchmark scores now similarly xiaomi phones have traditionally been known for their high value for money aspect for their cheap prices yet xiaomi is now in trouble for attempting to do something really crazy in the same domain like a stunt or even a scam that's exactly what we are going to be talking about in this video but before that let me introduce myself my name is sundar this is technology jock please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for regular video updates i know it's a bit of a hassle to change your phone's orientation to portrait and then tap subscribe but it's something that means a lot to me motivates me to make good content so please do it uh if you still don't want to that's fine let's get into the video so xiaomi decided to enter the uk market recently in case you didn't know xiaomi products were not officially available in the uk until few days back so they planned a grand opening with several different deals the mi band 3 was offered at 20 pounds instead of the regular price of 27 pounds and there were four flash sales two of them for selling the mi a2 for just 1 pound uh and the remaining two flash sales for selling the mi 8 lite again for just 1 pound which is less than 100 rupees so obviously hundreds of thousands of people were interested to get one of these devices guess how many devices were in stock for the sale just make a guess or i'll leave a poll here go ahead tell me uh, is it 10 or 50 or 100 500 or 1000 done it was 10 5 units of Mi A2 and 5 units of Mi A8 Lite. And what's funny here is these were divided into four flash sales, 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. It's ridiculous, right? Yep, it is. But it's not a scam. Something else they did is sort of a scam. I'll come to that in a bit. But this thing isn't really a scam. Why? Because they mentioned it in the terms and conditions. I still do find it to be a publicity stunt because the promotion was being marketed and advertised for more than few days but this particular point was added only on the day before the phones went on sale as in the sale uh, went live on the 9th of november and this piece of info was added only on the 8th of november so people who went through the terms and conditions before the 8th obviously wouldn't have bothered to check the terms and conditions once again anyway i don't want to put 100% blame on shami here The real reason why people got angry is because the sale ended in less than 1 second. Look at these tweets, they are all super disappointed because the phones went out of stock as soon as the sale started. I mean, what did they expect? Here in India with thousands of phones in stock, we still see out of stock in less than 1 second. It happened to Redmi 4, Redmi Note 4, Redmi Note 5 Pro and so on. It's been happening in India for years. So I thought this was it. It wasn't really a scam. But then a user on Twitter Phil Williams strongly claimed the sale was a scam. It wasn't just a blind claim, he actually noticed the browser requests and identified something fishy. It seems that the JavaScript code did not even check whether the phones were in stock or not. It was simply asked to display out of stock as soon as the timer expired. Normally a variable is set to have a count of the units available and the code goes something like this. If stock equal to 0 then display out of stock. But in this case there was no count the code was something like this if timer equal to 0 display out of stock now this felt like daylight robbery how can a brand as big as xiaomi uh, can do something like this when xiaomi was asked to comment on this controversy their uk marketing head replied stating uh, that out of thousands who clicked buy simultaneously the tiebreaker is done by selecting the winners randomly winners will be able to add the device to cart and proceed which is why the code did not check for stock limit okay that sounds reasonable but here's the thing something else was given on the terms and conditions page products available under the sale are limited in quantity and are given away on first come first serve basis first come first serve basis not randomly Xiaomi could argue there was no first at all there was no first second third hundreds of people clicked at exactly the same time fair enough they are justifying the fact that they randomly chose the winners and that the javascript code did not check for the stock limit so why did they have to put first come first serve in the terms and conditions page 
Now don't get me wrong I don't blame Xiaomi for having limited stock they sold the phones for less than 100 rupees each that's basically like a giveaway uh, and a brand that sells phones at very less profit margins can't afford to give a lot of phones for free I completely understand that what I have a problem with is Xiaomi trying to mislead people for not being clear enough with their terms and conditions they should have revealed the number of units as soon as they started advertising about the flash sales and they shouldn't have put first come first serve on the terms and conditions page this came as a shock to me because Xiaomi has always uh, been about offering great value for money products and customer satisfaction is something that's been their top priority for the past several years and i can't believe they did something like this in a market that they're just entering you only get one chance to make a good first impression and and that's an opportunity lost for Xiaomi but at least their phones are good really cheap too so let's see what the uk smartphone market has in store for Xiaomi so that's it my whole point is why did they even have to do something like this Xiaomi already offers great phones at bargain prices why these ridiculous flash sales i mean they just uh, created negative vibes among customers just like OnePlus their phones are the fastest anyway why bother cheating benchmarks for high scores i understand if samsung wants to pull something off like this because their budget phones aren't great so give this video a like if you found this video informative subscribe to technology job for more videos like this hit that bell icon as well thank you so much for watching this is sundar leaving for the moment have a wonderful day